Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria, and we're literally celebrating you if you're born in the month of September. And the birthday shout outs continue with Ho J. Fitz. The 2nd of September is your birthday, and you're celebrating yourself. Guess what? We celebrate you too, sir. Happy birthday. You go get everything and more. Oluwatoyin Awatunde, the 4th of September is your birthday and your children celebrate you. Happy birthday, Mama. This year you will have all that you prayed for. This year you will have all that you wish for. This year you go get everything and more. The 2nd of September is your birthday, and this is from the Potter's Palace Media. Happy birthday, Vivian. You will have all that you prayed for this year. You will have all that you wish for this year. You go get everything and more. Wang Bullis, the 4th of September is your birthday, and this is from Miracle Bullis. Happy birthday, dear. This day is your day, and I wish you very well. This year, you will have all that you prayed for. This year, you will have all that you wish for. This year, you go get everything and more. And that's all we'll be taking for the birthday shout outs on this hour. If you're born in September, do make sure you send in your shout outs. We definitely would love to celebrate you on your special day. All right, we'll be going on a quick break. And when we come back, there's still so much more happening right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Do stay with us. Let's have a conversation with the Dance to Fame crew on Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, they are a talented group of dancers who have gained recognition, and that's uh, for their excellence, that's the word to use, uh, display of skills, especially on the dancing floor. They are quite impressive as well. Their performances are always outstanding, and their dedication to their craft, of course, is unique. The crew consists of three passionate dancers, Precious, Edmond, and Kelechi. But uh, only two-thirds are here. <laughs> it's good to have you in the studio this morning. Yes. Uh, Precious Paul, 
Yeah. Right? And of course, uh, Edmond uh, Akwaya. Good to have you in the studio. Yeah. Okay, so Dance to Fame. What is Dance to Fame about? Um, Dance to Fame, like I said, is a, is a combination of three young men who had the same goal. Mm -hmm. They came together, started doing what they love. Mm -hmm. And from there, doing what they love later turned monetized, mm -hmm. you understand? So we started getting, um, getting recognition from it, mm -hmm. started going places, started People start calling us for show, mm -hmm. so and so on, from fun to business. How long has Dance to Fame existed? Um, currently, I'll say for six good years. For six years? Yes. So yes. where did it start? Was it at school or no. where exactly? How did you guys meet no, um, one another? To cut the long story short, it started from I. Okay. I was a solo dancer, so I, I knew Edmond, I knew Kelechi as a colleague. Okay. So on the long run, then I had a performance then, so they said they don't need a solo dancer. Mm -hmm. and they need the door dance. So I had to reach out to Edmund and yeah, what's up? Okay. Oh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, okay. what's up? Oh, I need you to come on, come with me for a performance. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went for the performance and it was okay. So from there we started, after you get program, we can follow you. I was like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. But then I prefer my solo performance then. So on the long run, it was cool. I met his parent and we decided to, okay, if I could work with you, I don't want to do something only within Lagos. Mm -hmm. I want to do something outside Lagos. So then, we traveled, we went to different couples of states. Mm. So in the long run, we eventually left Nigeria as a whole, oh. down to Benin Republic, and we were doing our stuff there. Mm. Until when we met Kelichi's elder brother. Okay. So it was through his elder oh, brother, brother you met him. So it was like, okay. the, on, the, or on that particular day we performed, and it was like, you guys are good. There's a younger brother that does stuff like this. I was like, oh, we don't care, just give me money. And, let me go. Okay. So I was like, okay, and unknowingly that we know Kelechi already. Oh, okay. In the industry. Understand? So on the long run, we had the performance and we just had to explore. Mm. And we merged, we went to the house, like, ah, and the guys were telling me this, so mm. everything from friends to family. Mm, wow. Now, Edmond, of course, we know quite well that uh, dance to fame, when it comes to performances, people are always looking forward to your performances in shows and all. What is that thing? that drives your group? What is that thing that motivates you, especially if something terrible might have happened, but then you guys have to perform? It's, uh, I'll speak basically on the, the um, feedback we get from people. Mm. Like, they love what we do. In as much as they love what you do, we don't have to come up with a bad energy. Mm. We always have to give what we have positive to give, vibe, positive only. vibe always. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So now your group has been in existence for about six years now. You get you started from solo. Now you guys are a group. Sometimes you used to hold uh, solo performances, or this is this is more or less like three of us on nothing. Yes, exactly what you just said. Three of us yes. on nothing. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing we do see in, on a solo is our individual pages. Okay. But when it comes to dance to fame, it is dance to fame. Mm. Nobody is out. Nothing. Wow. So yeah. now you guys have been able to grow in the industry. I'm always particular about giving back, especially when it comes to entertainers. Is there anything of such you're doing to at least encourage other young dancers that are still trying to find their feet? Yeah, currently I have a project on hand, you understand? Um, for the fact that I started from so uh, not into something, you understand? So I'm organizing a dance competition mm. and the main reason why I'm organizing that competition is to give back to society, exactly what you said. Okay. So we thought of it that, okay, this is my dream. I've always wanted to give back to society. So I spoke to my guys and, okay, and they gave me approval. So we're trying to, we're, we're just, we're on it currently, okay. understand? So if you need any information about um, the particular project, mm -hmm. which is titled to Dance to Fame with KJ Press, mm -hmm. and happening on the 13th of this month, okay. yeah, at Sylvain Empire Hotel, just check on my Instagram page at superstar.kjpresh okay. and all the information are there. Now, you know, when there are groups, there are usually you know, periods of, uh, okay, I'm, I want my own time to myself or stop. And then there's always that one dancer you people might meet one day that you're like, oh, we want this person on your group, in our group. Is it possible for that to happen? Like, a dancer watching and saying, I've been looking at you guys. Is there room for one or two more dancers? Uh, Sorry, let me answer this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to answer this. Like I said, from French stone what? Brothers. Brothers. Mm. So this is not like a dance group again. Mm. It's a family business. Mm. Understand? So that's the main reason we don't 
accommodate new applicants. Mm -hmm. You understand? Normally, I, I own a dance um, dance crew okay. at Side Dance to Fame. Okay. I don't even understand. Okay. So, but okay. Dance to Fame as a whole, mm. we don't need. So, any... when you guys have jobs, maybe when you can attend to one, you give it to the others. But when it comes to Dance, dance to, to Fame, fame like dance to it fame. has to be you guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, you you've mentioned lucrative. He too has um, mentioned something like that. Many people watch dancers and they are like, ah, how much are these ones earning? Is there even money in this thing? Is it really lucrative though? Yes, it is. Hmm. It is. Because based on platforms hmm. that we've gone into. Been on, yeah. Yeah, it's, it is. Okay, I'll so say. was it from one place you met somebody else or it's a case of maybe you guys have to align to an agent or how do you get your jobs? Dance to fame. Mm. We call ourselves Grace Boys. Mm. You understand? Grace always speak for us. Emphasize mm. on grace. We emphasize on grace. So, mm -hmm. at the long run, what what gave us this this um, confidence in this industry mm. was because that we didn't come to the industry just because of we want people to know us. Mm. You understand? We came to the industry because we have value. Mm. You understand? Just like when you have a market to sell. Mm. You understand? We have a market to sell. Mm. We have this talent, not just for fun. Mm. So, anytime we deliver. Mm. We have numerous people wanting us back. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Mm. So it has been people wanting us, not even we asking for a platform. Mm. Wow. So we don't use agents. So how do you come up with your routines? That, that is one question I really told myself that I must ask. Because your routines are usually unpredictable. They're very spontaneous. How do you come up with it? Is it when you watch a video or is it the beats that determine? Or is it influenced by something else? How do you come up with it? It actually comes up with consistency, mm. rehearsals. Mm. That's what brings up the creativity. Mm. It's, 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 it's not what an idle man can do. Like, it's what, based on you are, you are soaked in it. Mm. You're already dancing as yes. you are sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Precious and Edmond. Thank yeah. you, Ingrid.